Hi guys, welcome to Pilates with me. Here is your at-home Pilates workout and it is at home because you don't need to use any equipment and if you want to use weights you can use weights as well but if you don't have weights you are more than welcome to use two cans of food. If you don't eat canned food then two bottles of the same size filled up with water will be perfect as well and also if you don't want to use weights because you're feeling like your shoulders are feeling a little bit too weak then you don't need to use weights either otherwise you just need yourself you don't even need to have a mat unless you feel like you want a little bit of comfort a carpet is completely fine and some water to rehydrate yourself whenever you're feeling a little bit tired and do whatever you can guys if you want to do double the amount go for it if you want to do half the amount go for it if you want to relax and just lay there then go for that as well but we're going to start standing so i want you to grab your two weights let's start standing get yourself comfy i want you to stand with your feet a little bit wider than your hips today just so that you've got more comfort in your lower back and I want you to take your cans and place them to the side. You're going to roll those shoulders back and down, engage the core. And let's just try and relax the body here. Get ourselves started. You're either doing this in the morning or you're doing this in the evening. So it's just before a hectic day or just after a hectic day. And I just want you to breathe. Ground your feet into the mats. Remember your Pilates breathing, so it's in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then we're just going to start sliding that left hand down the leg towards the left ankle. Let the weight pull you down. So my weight is about half a kg. I'd say two kgs is probably the maximum. Unless you feel like you're a little bit stronger, but then it just starts going a little bit too much into the neck. Lift yourself up, swap it over, slide your hand down towards the right foot. Feel that left side stretching, lift yourself all the way back up. Now you're going to reach the weights up towards the ceiling, lock the shoulders down and engage the core. You're going to take a deep breath in and then on your exhale, rotate to your left and reach that left arm behind you. Look towards that left arm. Inhale, reach your hands all the way back up again. Exhale, we rotate the other way. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Just note how good this feels on the spine, giving you a little bit of rotation. The hips can move with you, but your feet need to stay dead still and parallel. Let's just do another three. Two. And last one. Bring those arms all the way back up. Drop the hands beside the body and then just take a deep breath and exhale, dip the chin. Come into a nice little roll down, letting those weights pull you forward. Once the weights touch the floor, you can just relax your head down. You're going to bend your left knee, straighten your right, drop your chest as low as possible. Bend your right knee, straighten your left, keep the abs nice and tight. Straighten both of the legs. Go a little bit deeper, take a deep breath in. Engage your core and then roll your spine all the way back up. Stack your vertebra, feel them clicking into place one at a time. And then roll your spine all the way up and open those shoulders. Now we're going to rotate those palms up, get those elbows in towards the rib cage. Fingers are facing forward. You're going to take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to open the thumbs all the way to the back and then inhale, you're going to bring it back in. Exhale, we open and then inhale. So try and keep your legs active here, your tummy active. This is good for those rotator cuff muscles. We're helping open up the shoulders and we're helping to round and roll those scapula backwards. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold the thumbs to the back, pulse it backwards for 10, squeeze nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and hold. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach the palms up, and then inhale, release them down. Exhale, reach, and then release. Reach, release, reach in. As you bring it in, you're feeling those shoulder blades squeezing down and together. As you're lifting, you feel those shoulders still dropping. You're using your arms, using your core. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Hold the arms out with a slight bend in those elbows and let's go into tiny little arm circles. Just keep breathing. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Change your direction for five, four, three. Make sure those hands are line with each other. You don't want to favor one side more than the other. Then hold those arms all the way up. Now we're going to extend those arms, rotate the palms down and up, down and up, down and up. Let's go for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn the palms up, hold the arms extended and pulse those arms up for a good 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And then release it and relax it. Perfectly done. Oh, okay, we're just going to take those weights to the side. I'm going to turn so that you can see me a little bit better. You're going to take the thumbs in. So you're rotating the hands and roll the shoulders back. You're going to take a deep breath and let's exhale and squat and then reach those arms backwards for a nice little tricep pull. You're going to inhale to. Sit down, exhale to squeeze up. If you want to change your breathing, you're more than welcome to. Just keep those core muscles engaged. And as you come up, I want you to squeeze your bum forward. Let me see you working. You lift those arms as high as possible and don't round your upper body. You're keeping your spine neutral. Go for another five, four, three, two, one, hold it in your squat position with the arms back, pulse those arms upwards for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Just keep it here for 10 seconds, really squeeze those abs in. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and stand. That was awesome. Shake it off. We're going to come down, take your right foot back, left foot forward. You want to be in a beautiful little 90 degree here. You've got a lovely square underneath you. And you're going to tuck the back foot under and reach the arms towards the front of you. Lock the shoulders down. Now, maybe just watch me first. You're going to take a deep breath in. On your exhale, you're going to only extend the back leg and lift the arms backwards and then inhale, return to the center. Let's do this together. So. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to lift. One, you're putting all the weight in the front leg and you're working your back knee. Two, you're squeezing it. Three, neutral spine, abs are tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Now hold that position. Lift the arms even higher. Go deeper. Squeeze your abs and pulse those arms upwards for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. Now challenge yourself here. You're going to bend your right knee, but don't let it touch the floor. Lift the arms in front of you and hold this lunge hover. Now pulse it up and down for 10, 9. Eight, seven, shift back. Three, two, one, and hold. Take a deep breath in. 
and then release and relax it back to the mat. That's perfect, guys. We're going to swap it over. So now we're going to torture that right leg. So right leg comes forward, left knee goes back, back toes are tucked under, roll the shoulders back, pull the navel to spine. Start with your arms in front, take a deep breath in, exhale, we lift. Inhale, we lower, arms come forward. Exhale, lift, arms go back. you practically touching the tummy into the thigh, but you're still squeezing your tummy. You're getting a beautiful neutral spine here. That's five, six. Don't just lift the arms up, squeeze them up. Seven, eight. Nine, and hold my favorite. Let's pulse the arms up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Challenge yourself, hover the knee off the floor, reach the arms forward. Now let's pulse up and down for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Take a deep inhale, and then exhale, release it, relax it. Yes, that was beautiful, guys. Lift yourself up, drop your weights. Take your left foot forward again. This time, move the foot slightly further forward than the knee. Just going to place both of the hands on the knees. Take a deep breath in. Tuck that tailbone forward and come into a beautiful hip flexor stretch. Catch your breath. We're going to do flow and controlled rather than working on getting that cardio up today. Take your hands at heart center, and then you're going to lean back into a hamstring rock. So you stretch that left leg, and then you bring it forward again. Breathe however you need to, but be active, be controlled, and be mindful. Who would have thought that you could do Pilates at home with canned tomatoes? <laughs> Reach it back. One last one. Reach it back and hold. Take a deep breath in. And then release. Swap it over. Left foot goes back, right foot comes forward. A little bit further forward than the knee. Both hands on that right knee. Tuck that pubic bone forward, engage the core. Let's just shift the weight forward first. We stretch. Remember, don't arch. This is a completely different stretch. I want you to round. Push that left back cheek down. Bring your hands at heart center. You're going to lean back, flexing that foot, and then lean forward, squeezing that bum. Lean back, flexing that foot, and lean forward. A little bit of a challenging plank coming our way. So just try and catch your breath, warm your body up. Just hold it here for one deep inhale. And then release. Okay, guys, you're going to move your weight out the way. We're going to make our way onto our hands and our forearms. Sorry, onto our knees and our forearms. And we're going to do a little bit of a 40-second plank, so it's quite a challenge. I want you guys just to do it with me, so you don't need to watch me first. Bring your weaker arm to the back and your stronger arm to the front or whatever feels more comfortable. Don't worry about it, because either way, we're going to be rotating. So now engage your core, lock your shoulders, step one foot back, other foot back, and now hold your plank. But check your shoulders. Are they over your elbows? Are your hands reaching for your elbows? Hold this plank position. We got another five, four, three, two, one. Now just rotate it onto the one forearm, Keep the legs straight and come into a beautiful side plank. Don't worry about your top foot being in front of the bottom. It's actually more stable and more comfortable. 
we hold for another five, three, two, one. Bring that hand back in front. Hold it in the center again for 10. Now don't lift your bum. Keep it in line with your shoulders. Tighten that core. Four, three, two, one. Rotate it to the other side. Plank. Engage your core, squeeze your bum. Don't start sagging like this. Lift for five, four, three, two, one. Bring that arm back down, hold it into your forward plank one last time. Push into the elbows, reach through the crown of the head for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees in. Knees apart, feet together, reach those arms forward. Come into a little shell stretch. Take one more deep breath in. Roll your spine all the way back up. Now bring it onto your hands and your knees. You're gonna have the right foot pointed and the left foot tucked under. Engage your core and we're coming into a beautiful donkey kick. So take a deep breath in. It's that flex foot we're lifting, putting all the weight in that same arm and then inhale to lower. Exhale to lift for two, inhale to lower. Reach through the crown of the head and just make sure that those abs are solid. You're not shifting forward or back. This is five, six, seven, warming you up, eight. Nine, 10, hold that foot flexed and up, pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Bring it all the way back down. Now flex both of your feet. You're doing the same leg again, only surprise, we're lifting the knees off the mat. So I want you to engage your core, lift both of your knees off the mat. Now it's the left leg that you're lifting again, into a beautiful donkey kick. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, push it up. Shift the weight forward. Three, you strong here, guys. Four, now you feel that right thigh on fire. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up. Pulse it upwards, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. Bring the knee down and then release the legs. So that's the tricky part. You try and pulse without pulsing your knees up and down. So now we change it over. Your left foot's going to be pointed and your right foot's going to be flexed. Lock the shoulders. Easy donkey kick first. We're going to exhale, push the right leg up. Weight goes into the right arm. We inhale, bring it down, exhale, push it up. Inhale, bring it down, push it up. Bring it down. Keep lifting, keep engaging. Don't hang your neck just because your shoulders are burning. Just enjoy the burn. We've got three, two, one. Now hold it up, flex and pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Bring it all the way down. Tuck both of your feet under this time. Have a break if you need it. Lift both of your knees. Engage the core, lift the right leg off the floor again. We inhale, release, exhale. Take note how my left leg doesn't move at all. Stays in the exact same position. Doesn't go higher, doesn't go lower. This is five. This is six. This might be very difficult for some of you. So put that leg back down. Seven. And you just do what you can. Eight. Nine. And now hold. Pulse that leg upwards for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And hold. And then release it and relax it down. Good. Woo. Tuck both of your feet under. Push it straight into your downward dog. Get into those hamstrings. 
So it's supposed to be a recuperation pose. And then walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Stay in that roll down position. Just stretch the hammies a little bit. We've got a tiny bit more of a leg workout to do. You're going to engage your core and roll your spine all the way back up. Now keep those feet where they are. They should be hip width apart. We're going to come straight into a beautiful squat. So let's inhale, squat, sit back, reach the arms forward, exhale, stand. Inhale, squat, exhale, stand. Inhale, squat, exhale, stand. Swing the arms forward, bring them to the side. Five, squeeze the bum as you come up. Six, neutral spine, you know, rounding that upper half of your body. Eight, nine, 10, hold. Take the hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your heels off the mat for 10 and slowly place them down. Lift them up for nine, place them down. Lift them up for eight, place them down. Lock the shoulders, seven, place them down. Six, five, I want you to feel the shake as you come back down. Four, three, two, and last one. One, place the heels down. Reach the arms in front of you again. Let's go into 10 pulses, up and down for 10. Now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we hold. Feel the burn. Don't let those knees roll in. Five, four, three, two, and one, stand. Shake it out. Make sure you're at the back of your mat. Going into a little bit of a back and an arm workout, we're joining everything together. You take a deep breath in. You exhale, you're gonna dip the chin, roll your spine down. See if you can keep your legs straight as you walk it into a plank. You're gonna come all the way down, one long line, and then reach the arms forward, reach the legs back to superpower. We bring it up. And you walk it all the way back. Roll it up. We're just going to call this one superpower because there's no superman and there's no superwoman. Bar gender. We're going to bring it all the way down, lift it up, and then release. Push it all the way back up. Walk those hands to your feet. Roll your spine up. Let's go a bit faster. Roll it down, walk it out. Down, reach, push it up. Walk it all the way back to your feet. One more, and then we're not walking it back to the feet. We're just gonna be pushing to plank. So you're gonna roll it down. You're gonna come down, superpower, bring it up to plank. Now let's keep going. Superpower, bring it up to plank. Don't leave the groin behind. Everything is lifting as one. We've got six more. Reach. We've got five. Reach. We've got four. Point the toes, reach the hands. Flex the feet, push up. Three. Two. And one last one. Hold your plank nice and strong. Engage your core. Shift the weight forward. Arm should be burning. Five, four, three, two, one. Right leg comes forward into a pigeon pose. And we fold those arms down to breathe. Just let gravity pull you down. So take one more deep breath with the right leg forward. Walk it all the way back to a plank and then bring that left leg forward. 
the one knee slightly hurting, then rather give it a miss. Or you roll over onto your back and you do a nice little rugby stretch. Walk it all the way back up. I want you guys back on your hands and your knees. Grab one of your weights and let's place it in the left hand. You're going to reach that left arm forward. Let's lock the shoulders down. Don't lean back because you don't want to put pressure on that right arm. Force the right arm to work and lean forward. Lift the chin, take a deep breath in. Exhale, we just lift that left arm and then we inhale, place it down. Exhale, we lift for two and then place it down. Lift for three. Lift for four. Five. Six. Seven. You'll feel your obliques working to keep you center. Eight. Nine. And hold that arm up. Take the right leg back and balance. You're going to open the right leg to the side and the left arm to the side. Bring it back to the center. Bring the elbow to touch the knee. Reach. That's one. Open. Bring it in. Elbow to touch. That's two. Open. Bring it in. Three. Four. Keep it nice and neutral. Nice and tight. Five. Six, seven, and last one, eight. Hold that arm and leg up. Pulse that arm and leg upwards for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, and then release it back to the mat. Control, I know those arms are burning. You're going to take the weight in your right hand this time. Lock the shoulders down. Just move that right arm to the front. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we lift. One. Align yourself. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, breathe. Exhale to lift. Nine, ten. We hold. Take that left leg back. Open the arm and the leg. Bring it to the center. Round it in. That's one. We open. Bring it to the center. Round it in. That's two. Open. Center. Three. The arm you're leaning on is burning. Open. Center, five. Open, center, six. Two more. Last one. Hold that arm and leg out. Pulse it up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And release, relax. Beautiful. Put the weight to the side. You're going to roll over onto your forearm. Choose whichever forearm you want to roll over onto first. I want the elbow directly underneath the shoulder. We're going to try and do a side plank with both legs straight. So I want you to place one foot on top of the other. Engage your core, top hand to top hip. Now push yourself up, straighten those legs out. I just want you to only take your top leg forward and hold. Don't drop the bottom hip, lift it up and it's really going to target here and your glutes and your arm obviously. Hold for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straighten the leg first and then you can relax it down. Remember, everything's controlled. Swap it over. If you found that difficult, try it with your bottom leg bent. If you want the challenge, both legs straight. Let's slightly bend to start off with. 
so that you can push up into a beautiful straight position and have that shoulder above the elbow. Now bring that top leg in and just hold and balance. It's a really good exercise if you're trying to reconnect your TA muscles. Hold for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten both of your legs first, and then you can release it and relax. Beautiful. You're gonna turn around, grab both of your weights. Let's roll all the way back onto our back. Now come into a little bit of an ab workout. So you want both weights, one in either hand. Locking the shoulders, imprinting the core, lift those legs to tabletop. We're gonna come into your dead bug. So take a deep breath and reach your opposite arm and leg out, and then exhale, bring it back to the center. Swap, bring it back to the center. Three, love this tummy exercise. It really gets it burning. Four, starts off super easy. Five, gets very challenging. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring it back to the center, knees together. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, crunch the chest and extend the legs forward. Inhale, release. Exhale, crunch and extend. Release, sunk. Sink that belly button in, sorry. And release. Sink it in, reach those legs forward. And release. We've got five. And bring it in. This is six. This is seven. Lower back touching the mat. Eight. Nine. And last one, 10. We're going to hold this position and let's go into the 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 10. This is all about stabilizing. Getting that lower back into the mat. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 30. Remember if that neck hurts, please drop a waist and hold it with one hand. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, halfway. You can bend your knees if it's becoming challenging. <sighs> Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 70. Squeeze. Exhale, two, three, four, 80. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 90. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, and 100. Hold. Take a deep breath in. And then you can relax it and release. Hug those knees in and release. You're going to reach those legs forward. Flex the feet. Take the arms slightly behind you. Coming into roll up. So exhale. Dip your chin. Roll your spine up. Reach the weights forward. Try not rest them down. Exhale. Slowly roll all the way back to the mat. We inhale. We exhale. Dip the chin. Roll yourself up. Reach it forward. So feet apart is a little bit easier. So you feel like your tummy's done for the day. Just spread those feet a little bit wider. You really want to challenge yourself then bring those feet together. Roll it up. Slowly roll down. So no flinging it up. Let's just do two more. Dip the chin, roll the spine up, reach it forward. And then slowly roll it down. Last one. Dip the chin, control, lift it up. And then control all the way back down. Into a neutral spine, bend those knees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift both of the hips up. Inhale, drop them down. Exhale, lift them up. Inhale, drop them down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, drop it down. Lift up five. Drop it down. Lift up six. Lift up seven. Eight. Nine. Press it up. Ten. 
hold the hips up there and just inhale, exhale, split the arms. So you're going to scissor them and then change. So it really is not working your arms. It's just working on stabilizing. And that little shift in movement and change of hands works those core muscles in such a tiny way. We're going to do six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Bring both of your hands back up. Challenge yourself. You usually have arms to push here, but now you don't. I want you to lift your right leg to tabletop and then place it down. Lift the left leg to tabletop, place it down. Try to keep your hips level. Three, place it down. We're nearly there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Place the feet back down, keep the hips up. Exhale, lift both of your heels, inhale down. Exhale, lift and down. Three, feels good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Keep the heels lifted. Let's pulse the hips up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Put the heels down, reach the arms back with a deep inhale. Exhale, roll that spine all the way down to neutral. That was awesome, guys. Place your weights to the side, hug your legs in. And then just rock yourself all the way back up. You're going to spin yourself around and let's just Open the knees again, feet together, come into your shell stretch. Reach the arms board, but still tightening in those lower abs. Feel how good your body feels. It feels worked, it feels moved. Walk those hands all the way to the right side. Place your left hand on top of the right hand. Reach your hands away from you. Walk it all the way to the left side. Place the right hand on top of the left hand. We breathe. Clear your mind. Everything's going to be okay. Bring it all the way back to the center. Treat this as you roll up and roll down. So you're going to breathe in. And you're going to exhale, engage the core and roll your spine all the way up. Stack in your vertebra, one vertebra at a time. Lift up, open the shoulders, open the chest. Take one deep, positive breath in. And then let it out. Really nicely worked, guys. I hope you feel nice and warm and loose like I do. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.